I cannot teach in Florida. LGBTQ educators fear fallout from new school law. Following the enactment of what critics call the don't say gay law, some LGBTQ teachers have quit the profession altogether. So I want to read this article. These are the results of anti-gay, anti-trans legislation. Um, it's, it's a bad deal. Last month, a group of parents in Orlando, Florida, demanded consequences against sixth grade science teacher Robert Follander. His crime? Follander acknowledged his marriage at school. Now, again, we need to talk the don't say gay bill, right, is apparently supposed to affect kindergarten to third grade. Now, when I was in school, right, now I'm 25, right, so I was not in school that long ago, we had sexual education in fifth grade. Now, I don't know what it is in Florida. I, I was raised in New Jersey. Um, now, again, sexual education that we had in fifth grade, horrible. We didn't have anything in middle school or high school. It was just in fifth grade. That was it. And it was horrible. It, there was no details. It was basically like, all right, this is what a penis is. That's it. You know, you, you know, it, it gets big sometimes. Whoa, that's crazy. Right. That's pretty much all they told me in fifth grade. Um, so, again, keep in mind, this is in sixth grade. The don't say gay law should only apply to kindergarten to third grade. That's like the parents are like, oh, they're too young. They're too young. They're too young. Oh, they're too young. Right. So here we are. Sixth grade. Someone acknowledged that they're married. Now, again, this is exactly what I'm saying. Um, when I was in school, again, uh, not that long ago, um, I think I had like maybe one male teacher. Two, I think, throughout my entire schooling career. Three, actually. Um, and the rest were women. And many times, though, uh, you know, I don't think I had any gay teachers, uh, but many times, you know, people, uh, teachers' husbands would come to the school uh, during, like, you know, like, maybe the last couple weeks of school, they would come in and bring, like, snacks and cookies, you know, because the last couple weeks of school, usually you don't do anything, you just kind of watch movies all day just to run out the clock. Um, throughout, you know, the school year, sometimes they would drop things off, and every once in a while, I would see... One of my teachers kiss their spouse on the cheek, heterosexually, of course. Now, again, the don't say gay bill does not specifically call out uh, homosexuality. Uh, it tries to do the both sides thing where it's like, oh, we just can't mention any sexuality. But, of course, uh, that doesn't matter because it's the enforcement that is important. No one's going to cry and whine to school boards if a heterosexual marriage is referenced right? Um, but they will when a homosexual marriage is referenced. So why I'm giving you all this context is because this is crazy. This is crazy. Let me read the story. He married a man. This alone is not an issue. Sharing the details with all his sixth grade students is the issue. Now, what are the details? Well, again, they were absent from school while they got married, came back, the students asked, why were you absent? They said, I got married. Those are the details. Parents wrote in a letter to their children's school board, which was shared with NBC News. It was not appropriate. Many of these students felt very uncomfortable with the conversations and shared this with their families. Many people are saying, many people are saying the gay man, the gay man was steeped in gayness. He got the gay all over the walls. He walked in and he smelled like gay. Uh, that alone is not the issue. But what the issue is, is that we know he's gay. If he were gay and didn't tell anyone, that would be fine. I don't care what people do, but he told us that he was gay. Had Tholander just said... We will be out for a few days because he was getting married. No problem. The letter continued. But to discuss the details. Now, again, what are details? Like, was this guy saying that we had, like, a 36-hour sex romp? Like, what are the details? What, what details could this teacher have possibly given? Uh, and create an uncomfortable situation for the students with no benefit to teaching his subject matter uh, is inappropriate. Now, again, there's no evidence for this. There's no data points. Right? There's no evidence that even kids were upset. This is just one parent making a bunch of shit up. 
Thalander denied having discussed his marriage since he and his husband tied the knot in March of last year, aside from acknowledging it when he was asked. No action was taken against him by the school leaders, who defended him several days later with a letter of their own, he said. Nevertheless, the incident prompted Thalander to make this school year his last, after 11 years of working in Florida as a teacher. Quote, a lot of trust is given to teachers, and it made it seem like I wasn't trusted because there's something wrong with me for being gay. He said it makes it seem like being gay is something vile or disturbing or disgusting when it's described as making children uncomfortable knowing that I'm married to a man. It hurt. While the, other, while the Orlando parents did not succeed in having Thalander disciplined or ousted, he and other LGBTQ teachers in the state worry that newly signed state law titled Parental Rights in Education, but dubbed by critics as the Don't Say Gay Law, will galvanize parents to take similar actions against them. In fact, Thalander said he believes the parents who complained about him were emboldened by the bill even before it was signed into law. So again, they take a story that they may have heard months ago, right? And they're like, oh, well, now's my time. And again, just because they didn't get fired or reprimanded in an official fashion, they were bullied out of their job. This is the goal of these fascists, is they want to deny that gay people exist. They do not want their kids to learn about gay people existing. They want to hide that gay people exist. This is the don't ask, don't tell philosophy rearing its ugly head once again. With the new law in place, teachers fear that in talking about their families or LGBTQ issues more broadly, pointed letters will be uh, the least of their worries. The law, blah, blah, blah. Lawmakers who support the law, I don't care what they have to say. Uh, Nicole Solomon, 28, taught fourth grade in Miami-Dade County for more than four years. As HB 1557 passed through the legislature, she quit. Solomon, a lesbian, said that after months of having taught virtually throughout the coronavirus pandemic, the law was the straw that broke the camel's back. The law would erase me as an LGBTQ teacher, she said. Nobody would be able to know, which then puts me in the closet, and I'm there seven hours a day, if not more, five days a week. I wouldn't be able to be who I am. And I don't think I can bear to see students struggle and want to ask me about these things and then have to deny them that knowledge. That is not who I am as a teacher. So it's easier to just quit than to spend your entire teaching career uh, struggling uh, and not being able to actually do your job. Uh, now, again, this is going to cause a mass exodus of teachers in Florida. Uh, they're probably going to go to other states um, or they're just going to quit the profession altogether. And what this is going to do is it's going to result in those that are remaining. It's a purge, what this is. It's a pogrom of uh, the educational variety. What they are trying to do is purge all non-Christian, neo-fascist approved uh, ways of being alive. Um, you know, so the kids don't know. They want kids to suffer. They want gay kids to suffer, to not know what being gay is. They want gay kids to think that they're straight. They don't want gay kids to be able to be happy. They don't want gay kids to be able to learn about other gay people. Because again, uh, you know, I went to school not that long ago. I'm 25 years old. Um, and so I was not taught anything about gayness or being trans. I was not taught anything at all. Not a single passing reference in any history book or anything ever. It was completely erased when I was in school, and I am 25, so again, imagine uh, what it was even, you know, 30, 40, 50 years ago, right? So this is like a very new thing, that now people younger than me, some of them have the ability to learn that gay people exist when they're in school, and that can have a, an extremely positive effect on their lives because they don't have to spend years of their life not knowing what the fuck's going on with themselves, um, and so that is an extremely valuable thing. And of course it makes the fascists upset because they don't want that. They want gay people to either stop existing or just not let anyone know. They preferred when gay people were in the closet, when if you talked about being gay, you would be beaten to death and thrown off a bridge. That's their ideal scenario. They do not want gay people to exist. They want them to exist, but only in private, which is again, basically not existing at all. So again, uh, not only is this bill going to cause people to be fired and quit, 
But there are people that are just going to, you know, uh, to be fired, I mean. But there are people that are just going to quit because it's too stressful having to walk on eggshells just trying to do your job, just trying to make uh, kids' lives better, happier, and more educated. And again, this is fascism. This is full stop Nazi Germany shit. I need people to understand that. A lot of people don't know what this is. This is neo-Nazi garbage. That's what it is. This is an attempted genocide of LGBT people. That's what this is. So what I mean by genocide, right? It is a cultural genocide in the sense that they are not necessarily trying to kill human beings, but what they are doing is they are trying to kill everything that relates to these human beings' ways of life. Again, gay people have existed all throughout human history. There are gay animals. There are probably gay plants. We just don't know how, what, you know, that we just, there are, like, you know, everything is gay. The world is gay. There have been trans people for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years. There were trans people before there was language in humanity, in human evolution, right? But they don't like that. They prefer to have the Christian fascist uh, way of life where there's nothing different. You're taught and you're told to do and uh, everything and you're, you're told what to think. You're told what to believe. You're told how to act. That's what they want, right? So again, are they trying to kill gay people? Some Republicans are. Again, some Republicans are trying to pass uh, laws that say if you're trans, you're not allowed to go to a doctor under the age of 21. 21! You can't have health care if you are queer. If you are 20 years old, you are too young to go to the doctor. If you're queer, according to these Republicans. So in that instance, that is a literal genocide, as in it re results in the deaths of human beings, but at the very least, what they're attempting to do is a cultural genocide, and that is an extremely important thing to understand. This is genocide. These are Nazis. These are fascists. There is no alternative viewpoint of this. That is it. That is factual. That is objective analysis of reality, and if that offends you, then you're a fucking piece of garbage. So there you go.